Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide to Halo Wars 2. Um, in this guide I'm going to cover a deck build and a little insight into the strategy I use. Now keep in mind there's heaps of different decks you can build and you should always use what you're comfortable using and what sort of strategy you want your deck to play out to. Um, anyway, I'm going to be doing the Shipmaster. And with this deck build, I'm going to go for like a good decent range um, and something to back up the range. Now this is the deck that I'm using currently. You can pause it if you want to have a look at all the cards and everything. I normally start with the scout army because I can get to base quick and to the energy drops and a big part of getting an advantage is getting energy more energy, more troops, advantage, um, I'll be going over that in the gameplay. So anyway, I got just some basic grunts, only cost 10 energy. A chopper, which is a decent card um, for battle and scouting, I mainly use it for scouting and picking up energy. Then you got some elite rangers, good range and detect. My ghost, another good scout and basically Thing to move around the map with to to get the energy. Some hunters, good to protect the locusts, which is one of my favourite cards, and the blister back. Um, these are going to be like kind of like the core of the build, because um, they're they're the things that you're going to build around. Um, then you got some more grunts, which is a mob which I think spawns three and they um, they just help protect your big units and I got a, a glassing beam which if the enemy is moving towards you or grouped up that's really good if you got the energy to um, give you an advantage um, and then an engineer which is really good because it heals your units and it also detects um, detect is what reveals invis so um, that's my Shipmaster build, um, I'm going to pause it right now and go find a 1v1 game and give you an insight into the strat I use. Alright, so we have found a game. So my strategy usually is to capture this hill there um, between um, zone B and C because only this is a nice little advantage point on top of the hill not all troops can get there and with the locust build with um, shipmaster they they can attack B and C from the hill um, and it just gives you an advantage with that range that they have um, the troops are there to sort of back them up and also whilst owning that hill area you can also spawn troops into B and C so it's just um an ideal strat for me. Powering up Game starts in three, two, one, begin. Okay, so what I do at first is send Ghost on the some troops to C. Ghost I normally leave one behind to get any energy that drops. Okay, that drop there. Um, keep in mind, energy is very important to gaining a advantage in this game. Uh, see, he hasn't taken the hill, but he's taken the zone, which is good for me. I can spawn that there, which will attack that. See, it's out of range, forcing him off. Now I can capture that zone. These, I just want to put these in random places around the map. So if an energy thing does drop, I can claim it before the enemy does. Are you under fire from the sky? Covering the ground. 
Okay. I'm gonna save up and put my bristle back there. Um, it's good. These ones have a special, so if you push R, they go into a different mode. That will give me a further advantage. Okay, see, so my strategy to this build is to put all my range minions up here, like the Locust and the Bristleback. Um, I only need one minion on each to control it. The rest should hang around up here to protect your larger troops. I've got another Locust ready. And that, yeah, that range is awesome. It's okay if they take it for a little while. They'll okay, force them off. So now I can send some more troops. Okay, so I already have a troop in place here, so now that the energy is dropped, I can quickly grab it before my opponent. And I got this one as well. So that's, that's a big part of um, getting an advantage. Carrying out orders. The enemy has units in the air. That was the only assignment. I claimed one of them at least. Spawn an engineer that'll help me if I'm taking damage. So there's an invisible minion there. But I can sort that out. I'll just summon another one. If you have a card that you don't want to use straight away, you can cycle it and draw another one. I really need um, a engineer. Oh no, don't need it anymore. <laughs> they went uninvisible. So uh, yeah, basically, I'll just spawn these guys here, play in that zone. And we're on the right track again. It's okay if they gain a bit at the start, but once it gets to halfway, you sort of got to really control the zone. Okay, um, so some more energy has dropped, so I'm going to claim that real quick. I already have troops in position. And... I'm pretty comfortable with my position right now. See, I own the hill, and these two zones, they can't really take without these minions flying upon them. So, I'm in a pretty good position right now. So I just want to spread them out a little bit as well, just in case. I'm pretty sure that was their big minion. Kind of wrecking me, but we'll be right. And 
we still own the, the hill and these two zones. What you want me for? That worked well. Energy dropped. More energy drop, so I'm gonna pick that up as soon as possible. I already have that strategically positioned. So two out of three energy drops are mine, giving me more of an advantage. I have so much energy right now. I shall see it done. Another locust, that's what we want. Don't be see, they have to fight the troops down there before they even come close to these ones. Hijack my locust. <laughs> right, I'll spawn another one. Ghost up here. Already picked that one up. And yeah, basically that's my strategy to a victory with the shipmaster. Now, obviously, there's um, lots of different strategies you can use and different builds with different heroes. Um, but yeah, this, this is my favorite build, the shipmaster build. And the strategy is to own this hill, and with the hill, you take these zones zone B and C and um, yeah you have a lot of fun once you figure out what works so hopefully this video was helpful and it helps out some of you that are just getting into the game and don't know a whole lot about it so um, yeah thanks everyone for watching and uh, yeah once again hope it helped